have to cut this part right here. Woo! My God, what was I thinking? So on this video, I have some things I want to talk about. Some emails I've been getting, some comments, and I definitely want to address that now before I start making other videos. This type of video I usually put on my second channel. I have a second channel called Just Anne's World. And over there I get more personal. I do some story times, a lot of car vlogs. I talk about my past, how I used to be, you know, hanging with the wrong crowd. I will leave that channel down below. However, I've been getting a lot of comments lately why I've been doing Jeffree Star. I just did his mystery boxes and on the community page, I did a poll asking which video do you want to see first? And in that poll was um, Jeffree Star palettes, like Rankin Jeffree Star palettes. Yeah. So if you're interested in what I have to say, then keep on watching. Very quickly, if you're wondering what is on my eyes, I have the Too Faced Cinnamon Swirl Palette. I just got this maybe a month or two ago when they were doing 50% um, off of this palette. And that's what she looks like. It's probably blinding you right here from the lights, the way the packaging is. I like the formula. It blends really nice. It's just too plain for me. I don't know how to say too many browns, you know? So, it's like the color story. I don't know. Um, it's okay. You know, I just don't know how many times I will use it. But if you like these type of colors, you'll definitely enjoy this palette. And then I have the Too Faced Christmas Coffee Palette. This was on sale for like 13 bucks on Sephora before. And I have this color green right here on my lids. So, that's what I have on. And as far as highlighter, I have the Ofra highlighter in sugar cookie. Now, you guys know, if you've been with me for a while, you know, I always say my favorite, favorite formula is Ofra. And then for drugstore, it's wet and wild. So let me show you what that looks like. It's just gorgeous. And then for a blush, I have the blush, blush fault palette from Ofra. And that's what she looks like. And I have these two colors mixed in right here. Now, really quickly, I am so excited. I did get sent a few of Ofra's products. And then I asked if I can have a coupon code. And they're like, sure. And they gave me an affiliate code. So it's just and in all caps. Save you some money off if you want to shop at Ofra. I don't know what to do with myself. I almost fell over when they told me that. That's not what I'm showing you. I do know I get asked a lot, like, what's on my face and stuff like that. And the bronzer is the Lunar Beauty, um, the palette. What is it called? Dimension palette. That's what I have on as bronzers. Okay, and as far as lipsticks, if you watch my second channel, you know I do, like, all different colors. There's, like, four different shades on my lips. All right, anyway, enough of that. So, where do I begin? I never know, like, how to start these videos. Oh, and if you see me doing this a lot, you guys know, I'm used to having my hair all the way back. So anything in my face, it's like I want to like push it, you know? Okay, so most of you know that my husband is black. I have three children that are biracial and I have two stepchildren that are black. So their mother and father are both black. Now, I when people ask me, I usually say I have five kids. I always say me and my husband are raised five kids. And... That's because I look at them not as stepkids as my kids. But for this purpose, I want you to understand because I'll get more into detail about that. So when I first started my channel, I really didn't know who Jeffree Star was. A lot of people talked about him. He's really popular. I got some of his makeup. I loved his eyeshadow palettes. Um, I didn't really like the highlighters. At that time, they were like very glittery, you know. But I really did like his makeup and stuff. And I supported him. He did mystery boxes. I got a few of them. And then it came to my attention like older videos that he made from years ago, which were disgusting, okay? I know he made an apology video. And then I think he had it out with some friends. And there were videos made that he said the N-word, you know. Oh, I've never heard him say the N-word. Have I? Maybe in those videos like 10 years ago. But like, I don't know. I'm not saying it's true. And I'm not saying it's not true. I do know what I seen when he made some videos years ago was very disgusting. Okay. He had said though that he was bullied and he was just going back at him. No matter what, two rights don't make a wrong. 
and it was just disgusting. I'm not going to get into detail what those videos were. I know they're like off the internet now. You know, he has enough money to make sure it's off and stays off, right? So I stopped supporting him for many years. I know like on my community page, when his mystery boxes will come out, I would put one there. I don't support him because I do have audience that are tan, brown, black, you know, all different colors, you know? And I was like, I'm not going to support a racist, right? Especially I don't, I don't want to support no my fa my family. You know what I mean? I didn't feel comfortable putting his stuff on my channel. And now he just came out with it was the Valentine's mystery box. Now prior to that, one of my friends had sent me a mystery box. What was it? The Halloween mystery box. I got that, and then I did the Valentine's Day one. Before that, it was many years before I didn't even put his makeup on my channel. Anything. And I got some comments. You know, especially when I did the Valentine's Day mystery box. And I got this very nasty email. Now, listen, I don't mind anybody asking me like, oh, I thought you don't support Jeffree Star. Why are you putting him on your channel? Because you have a right to ask me. You know, one thing I love about this channel, I feel like we're like family and I feel we don't hide anything from each other. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't hide anything from you. So I really don't have an issue with you guys asking me and I would tell you. But I got an email you know, saying that I was a sellout because of my husband and my children and I'm supporting a racist and I must not care about my family, you know, went a little too far. If you don't know, I used to put my business email in my description box, but then like I get so many emails that what happens is I miss a lot of like the business emails when I have companies trying to get a hold of me. So that's why lately, like I do not put my business email in my description box. You know what I mean? So I don't know if they went back. I, I, I don't know how, but whatever. I mean, I don't mind people emailing me. That's not the point. I'm just saying like, you know, you guys know what I mean, right? So that really made me angry. And then I got a few comments. I went back, you know, I did a pinned comment and we'll, I'll get more into detail about that. But then I got like another, a few comments. And then like, when somebody comment, there was another person that would comment under there that was like, I thought her husband and kids were black. And of course I said, well, what do you mean you think they are, you know? And then they were asking me like, oh, about my giveaways. Where do they find the winners? And are they real? And you know, I'm answering back and forth. And I'm like, look, you can search on YouTube and Instagram. There have been people that unboxed it, whatever the case may be, you know? And then she was like, well, your giveaway for your 50K looks like items that you put in past giveaways. In other words, trying to say like, well, I don't really do my giveaways and they're just like stuff that I just keep saying is going to be in giveaways. I don't know. Maybe, man, I delete the whole thread, whatever the case may be. And like that, that was just one. And then there was like more that I was getting, you know? So like I said, I did the pinned comment. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up again is on the community page, today is Monday, uh, President's Day when I'm filming this. This is the 21st. Oh, my giveaway, my 50K giveaway that we're going to have 10 winners plus an extra one. If you watch that, you'll know what to do. Um, it is over tomorrow at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will leave that video down below. You only have one more day to enter. Okay, anyway, so today is the 21st. And I put, because I wanted to uh, do a few videos, right? I have told you guys many times that I don't want to just do unboxings. I'll still do some unboxings, but... You know, I also want to do different like beauty related stuff on this channel. So I, on my community post, I asked you guys, do you guys want to see a declutter? Uh, do you want to see like a YouTuber brand palettes that I have, like my thoughts and opinions or if they collab with the company, right? Like Lunar Beauty, so you have Manny MUA, Laura Lee has um thing, Dominique Kristen, or Kristen Dominique, I always forget her name. She's very beautiful. You know, uh, Patrick Starr, right? So like influencer brands and stuff. And then I also said, how about me ranking my Jeffree Star palettes? And that's because when I was doing my declutter and I was looking at all my stuff, I have a lot of Jeffree Star palettes because before I supported him. And then also with these um, mystery boxes that I have recently purchased, I got some stuff, right? So I was like, oh, you know what? I could do a video like ranking his palettes. That way you guys know my thoughts and opinions. Just thinking of different ideas because I'm still new to like the beauty aspects besides the unboxings on this channel, right? I don't know how I want to take this channel, if that makes sense. So now there were, uh, there was somebody that already asked me like, you know, no hate, whatever. It, this is not her, what I'm talking about. And like I said, you guys have a right to ask me that. That does not bother me at all. So if you see that comment, this was not her, but 
I was getting ready and I always, before I start filming, I always check my email and make sure everything's okay. Check my text messages, make sure my kids, you know, I let my kids know I'm filming if you need me, whatever the case may be. And I got another email. And I don't know if it's by the same person as the one emailed before, but it was disgusting, okay? And uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. So I'm like, you know what, let me just make a video before like that Jeffree Star Rankin video comes out. That way, if you guys ever ask me, I can lead you back to this channel, this video, okay? Now, here are my thoughts about this. Jeffree Star has been staying out of trouble, you know, at least that I know. If he hasn't even been into drama, he doesn't even really make YouTube videos, really, or really on Instagram that much. And I do believe people can change. And I'm going to give you a few examples, okay? Now... My mother and grandmother, they lived together for many, many years until both of them passed, right? You got Most of you guys know that. May they rest in peace. I miss them so much. By the way, February 17th was my mom's birthday. She would have been 69. What a number. <laughs> and I'm going to be very honest. When I, I got pregnant at the age of 18, had my first son at 19, but at 18, I remember my mom was 42, and I remember telling her, and the first thing she said to me was, I'm too young to be a grandmom and when you're 18 you think 40 oh my god like she was 42 like that's old I, I really thought she was crazy like does she really think that she's young <laughs> so funny right now I'll be 46 in a few months and it's like I don't have any grandkids and it's like I'm too young you know what I mean but they were very upset that I was pregnant by a black guy like dating anybody outside my race they you know my grandmother helped raise me my, my grandmother was born in 1927 I don't have to say any more about that, right? My mom was born in 1953. Do I have to say anything more about that, okay? They didn't care if I had uh, friends. Uh, they never said the N-word ever that I know, like that I physically heard. They just didn't believe in interracial dating. And my grandmother would always say, you don't mix bread with bread. You know, my mom would say, well, it's a cultural thing. So the whole time I was pregnant, up until I was five months, they like begged me to get an abortion. You know, they said some awful, awful stereotype things that I will not repeat, okay? I had already moved out of the house, you know, and it was just very hurtful. You know, they didn't support the fact I was pregnant, having a baby, they didn't want to tell anybody. It was like, you know, they were embarrassed, What, whatever the case may be. Now, my son was born very early at 29 weeks, and um, be that's when I found out, well, at that time I had gestational diabetes. I did not know um, that I was diabetic at the time because they don't do a, the sugar test until you're seven months and I dilated early. So I was like at only a half a centimeter dilated, five months. So back then I, at five months, you do not get tested yet, right? And I was a half a centimeter. By the time, and they put me on breathing pills and then the shot. And um, back then, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I would have to go to the doctor so they get the shot. But every day, I think it was like twice a day, I took the breathing pills. And then I was bedridden. But when I got to 29 weeks, you know, I, see, that doesn't stop your labor, but it prolongs it. And they were trying to get me to at least 36 weeks because they were worried about his lungs. And at 29 weeks, I, I have really bad cramps. And when I went to the hospital, I was a centimeter and a half and they couldn't stop it. Well, because I was diabetic, you know, had gestational diabetic, Beaties, excuse me, he was eight pounds, eight ounces. So he was really big, but he was very underdeveloped inside, okay? So that's not good. You know, they rather him been at five pounds than eight pounds because I don't know what it was. Like it just hurt him for him being so big. So of course he got sent to another hospital. And I just remember like when you go there, these babies that are a pound, less than a pound, and then you see this big baby and you're like, why is he here, right? So he was in there for a while. Now, my mom was actually in the delivery room with me. She was because after I, you know, all the issues that I was having with my pregnancy and different things like that, and she was there for me. And, you know, my son almost died, you know, they called code blue, everything. So she's seen all that. So, you know, it was still her grandson. And like I said, he was sent to another hospital in Camden, New Jersey. It was called Lady of Lords. And then when he got home, of course, I bring him home. I bring it to my mom and grandma's house and like they held him and you know it, it was that love because that was their blood now if you ask them of course they still wanted me to date my race but you know when it came to the baby that was theirs you know what I'm saying 
And then, you know, I had more kids as time went on. Like, they loved their grandkids. I mean, I remember my grandmother was 81 years old, and somebody said something about my son, and she literally walked down the street getting ready to beat their ass in her 80s. And my grandmother was only four foot nine. She told everybody she was five foot, or because she said it sounds better but she was a little thing right and when i met my husband i mean she they loved my husband they actually liked my husband more than they liked me you know they would call my husband if they needed milk or something like that like you know they did my grandmother i remember she was having heart issues she went to the hospital now she was 90 or 91 and then she had to go to like a rehabilitation center, okay? And then they like put her in a roommate with somebody around her same age. And my husband, he's very dark skinned. He goes in the room with me, you know, and she, my grandmother says, well, this is my granddaughter and this is my grandson. And the other lady kind of like looked, cause you know, at that age, right? They, you know, but my mom, my mom was quick to say that was her son. And my grandmother was quick to say, that's my grandson. So people can change, right? I've seen this with my own eyes, you know? I mean, they took care of my kids better than they took care of me. Let's just be real. My stepchildren, they loved, if you ask my mom, she said she had five grandkids. She didn't say she had three. No, loved them. So that's why I'm saying I do think people can change. I don't think people can change. I don't think you need to, by words, you need to wait to see if they change by actions. Because anybody can say, I love you or you're my best friend. And then right behind your back, they could talk as much shit as they can, right? So it's always actions, okay? And I just believe with Jeffree Star, with his actions, he hasn't gotten in trouble. He hasn't said anything. Now, the first time he gets into drama or he says anything out of the way, I, absolutely, I will stop supporting him. That's the truth. And I remember asking my husband, I'm like, should I buy his stuff? It's not like I support him where like I'm showing his stuff. Like say this is his eyeshadow palette. I'm like, you have to buy this. Or like I'm doing his new skin line that's going to come out on the 25th. And I'm like, you guys have to do it. I'm, it's not that. I just, I'm, I love mystery boxes, right? And then what, me putting on the poll, ranking my Jeffree Star Pals, I already have it. See, even with Laura Lee, I love, love, love her formulas. Probably one of the best formulas, in my opinion. I really like it. But a few years ago, if you don't know, she retweeted a tweet that said, if black people pulled their pants up, they can run faster from the police. And can I tell you that hit me, that hit home? Because with our boys, especially, but all of our kids, when they got their driver's license, we didn't first, me and my husband didn't sit down with them and say, well, make sure you do this, make sure you, you know what we had to say? When you get pulled over, the first thing you do is you put your hands on the wheel. You never get smart with the cop, you never get out of the car unless they ask, and you better not run. But to, first thing you have to teach your kids when they get pulled over is put your hand on the wheel. Make sure they don't think, you know, you're trying to grab for a gun or anything like that. So that tweet, even though she didn't tweet it, but she retweeted and thought it was funny. Now, she did this when she was in her 20s, but you're still old enough to know better, right? Uh, like, really, it just hit home, you know? Anytime my husband went before COVID when he would travel, and he always has to stop and pee. And I used to always say, make sure you Google where you're stopping and peeing. Pee in a bottle. Because he drinks a lot of water and stuff. I'm like, pee in that bottle if you don't know where you're at. I remember traveling. This was just about maybe four, three or four years ago to a state in the South. And the sign literally said, no ends with the A after 10 p.m. Yeah. Now, I'm speaking what me and my family go through is the area that I live in. Now, there might be a state or where you guys live in that you don't deal with that. You could be in an inter interracial relationship. You can have biracial kids or what have you. And you may not deal with that, okay? Even, you know, even being black, you may not deal with that. But where I live, we deal with that. I see the racism, the prejudice when me and my husband are at the store. My youngest son looks like me. Okay, he's even got my light eyes. All right, when he he plays baseball, played baseball high school, you know, traveling teams. Okay, I I know how they treated me, and I remember when I brought my daughter to the baseball field for the first time, a lot of the parents stopped speaking to me. 
on YouTube, I'll tell you another story on YouTube. It, and it's so weird. Like, okay, it's black history month. And I guess that's why it really makes me upset. You know, I remember my husband, when I first started my channel. He begged me for him not to be on this channel or bring it up because he was too scared that people wouldn't subscribe to me or follow me or whatever, because he was black. And I remember when I put him on my channel, I think I put my daughter on first. I think I was doing YouTube for like a couple weeks. I had people because before I did YouTube, I was a subscriber to some people and got friendly with them. And there's about three or four YouTubers kept saying, you should do YouTube. You should try YouTube. And I remember a couple of them unsubscribed. You know, I don't know. It's not like you have to sleep with them. And, and I don't, I still don't understand that. Like, I don't understand why people care about who I'm married to. You know, I'm not attracted to blondes, male blondes. I'm not attracted. So it's like, imagine you having a YouTube channel and you're blonde or your husband's blonde and people didn't subscribe to you want to watch your channel because of the color of his hair, right? I mean, it's, it's crazy to me. I stopped making videos with my daughter. She was 16 when I was making videos with her, a minor. And I would get comments calling her a monkey, half breed, calling me an end lover. I mean, it's just... It, you know, I don't know. So I want you to understand, I do take it serious. I understand, you know, why people may be upset. But I had talked with my husband and I said, what do you think about me putting him back on my channel? Like as far as like the mystery boxes, because I love mystery boxes. And my husband was like, don't judge him. Put him on there. If that's what you want to do, that's what you do. He hasn't gotten any. My husband's the type is very forgiving. You know, we go to church every Sunday. If we can't go to church, we watch it. Okay. We watch it more than we go. Let's just be real. And especially after my mom and grandma passed away a couple years ago, I really, really got into church. And most of you know, at the time, me and my husband got separated because I just couldn't handle things that I was handling with, you know, and we went to marriage counseling, right? And like I said, I started watching a lot of church. And since I was watching church, a lot of my views and different things have changed. Forgiveness, you know, um, being spiteful, um, letting things weigh on me, you know? And then I look at it like this. If you watch my second channel, I just put up a video of me hanging with drug dealers, uh, doing breaking and entering houses, almost getting shot, wrong place, wrong time. Like a lot of things that I've done, um, I almost went to jail for four years for a drive-by shooting that I did not do, but I was in the car. Just a whole lot of stuff. And I thought, where would I be? If people didn't forgive me or think that I can change, I wouldn't be here now talking to you guys. If you guys judged me for my past, see, thank God back then in the early 90s and the late 80s, thank God there was no cell phones and people didn't record and have a social media and put it online because the stuff that I did, right? So that's why I feel that way. I just feel that it's been, what, over a year maybe even longer since he's been in any drama. He hasn't tweeted anything negative. He hasn't made drama for anybody else, right? I, I just think people can change. Sometimes it takes time, but I do think people can change. And I think that he's changing by his actions. And for me, I don't think there's anything wrong with it for me giving him a second chance. Now I brought up Laura Lee, cause I know I could be all over the place when I talk about things that I'm very passionate about. I stopped buying her stuff, didn't support her nothing because what she said. Well, now I buy her stuff. It's been years. She showed that she's changed. She hasn't said anything. Do you know I mean that apology really pissed me off? That fake apology? Who remembers that from years ago, right? But like I said, it's been years ago. And I don't want to be judged for my past. Like I said, the first thing that I hear that he's saying anything racist or in any drama it, it would be off my channel, but the uh, the eyeshadow palettes that I already had, I'm not going to throw away just like with Laura Lee. I'm not going to throw away the nudie patootie palette that I have. And I think it was the cat's pajamas. I already bought them and paid my money. Why would I throw it out? Right? So yeah, so that's what I said. I wanted to make this video so that you guys can understand where I'm coming from. It's all about forgiveness and we have to forgive and we have to allow people to show actions if they are changing, right? Because nobody's perfect. 
I don't know anybody who's perfect. I know I'm not perfect. And I am just so glad people aren't judging me from my past. That's all that I'm trying to say. I always title it like Jeffree Star Mystery Boxes. If you don't support him, there are over 900, almost 1,000 videos on my channel. Just don't click it. You don't have to watch those videos. Watch the other ones. But please don't email me. I'm a sellout. I'm this. I'm that. As long as my husband is okay with it. Hell, he's even bought me products from him. You know what I mean? Um, then it's okay with me. If that makes sense, right? All right, I'm going to get off of here. I wanted to come on here and tell you that because there will be a video of me ranking his eyeshadow palettes. Um, also, don't forget, tomorrow will be the last day to enter the giveaway. I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow because tomorrow will also be five years I've been on YouTube. February 22nd of 2017 was a BoxyCharm video. So I'm going to do a live to say, you know, hi, to probably have cake or what have you. All right, guys, that is everything. Please like this video. It really does help me out or dislike it. Leave a comment. That helps me out too. Let me know what you think. Do you support Jeffree Star? Let me know what you think about this whole video. Like I said, I usually put this on my this type of stuff on my second channel where I just sit there and chat. I'll leave that down below. I also have a podcast with my friend Abby from Abadabs called Jersey Tea Podcast. And I just found out this morning, YouTube accepted us in the monetization program. That means we get paid for our videos. So that's exciting. I'll leave that down below. I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to cook dinner. My kids want stuffed shells tonight, and that's easy. And I'm like, yes. And then I'm going to do some more um, videos. Me and my husband are going to do a Q&A. So, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to get off of here. Stay beautiful. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. And most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, my God. I cannot believe my lipsticks look like this. Maybe I fixed it. I don't know. Did I fix it? No. <laughs> okay.